What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are well today. Got a nice little 20 kill game here for you today. Lately I've been getting a lot more 20 bombs uh, pretty much consistently every day so far, which is nice. Uh, and, a, and a few more wins. So yeah, I'll be getting a lot more Blood Hunt uh, gameplay out. Hopefully you're enjoying it. Leave me a comment if you are. Follow me on Twitch. Two things I want to talk about. Uh, one being the player count on PlayStation 5 right now. It's a PlayStation 5 exclusive game, I believe. So it's only on PC and, and PlayStation as of now. Hopefully in the future, I think it has been linked to that or leaked that rather that the uh, Xbox community will be getting the Blood Hunt game soon. So hopefully uh, that happens. But on PlayStation right now, if you turn cross platforms off, which a lot of people are doing because they don't want to play against the PC guys, because uh, really the mouse and keyboard just works so much better, in my opinion, for uh, for Blood Hunt. And, uh, and they've been playing it a lot, bit longer as well, which where's that? Um, and the console guys, they also, there's a lot of casual uh, console guys that just want to chill and they don't want to be sweating. And even some of the sweats are saying the same thing about the uh, mouse and keyboard players. They're just too good and uh, it's hard to compete. But the player count as of now of, of cross with cross platforms off isn't uh, a whole lot of people. I played Firestorm for a long time and pre well, pretty much three years, which uh, a lot of people that have subscribed here will know. You wait for lobbies from five to ten minutes at times to get servers and it's just a, it's so boring, so slow. And then when you get in the lobbies, the, uh, the lobbies would be half full. Uh, in this game, because of that whole experience, I'm used to it, which, but I also feel like if I'm playing a new game, I should be getting quick games and people don't want to wait that long anyway, especially when they've got either work or somewhere else to be and they haven't got a whole lot of time and they're trying to get that time. And even just for like normal sake, you shouldn't be waiting longer really than four or five minutes for a game. But on Blood Hunt right now on PlayStation 5, you're waiting really, really long for servers. I mean, some people were even waiting like 10 to 20 minutes, which is just insane, really, when you think about it. In my personal opinion, I feel like cross-platform should be Xbox and PlayStation and console and even mobile. You could do that. I think they should be all the same as cross-platforms, and there should be a separate option or, or no option at all to play against PC, just purely for the fact that how many people don't want to play against PC and the overall, I don't mind it at times, but I don't always want to play against PC players. But in general, it just, it works so much better if you keep it console only because it's controller against controller. And you haven't got that whole um, opposite accusations from the uh, PC guys where they don't like the whole aim assist. And so there's sort of both sides saying one thing, one side saying aim assist, one side saying um, uh, mouse and whole, whole arm and you know the rest of it. So there's that. Um, also, I want to talk about the bugs on this game. They are... This game's been about two... Oh, just over two weeks, I believe, now. Um, they haven't really fixed a lot of bugs, to be honest. Like, game-breaking bugs. The reload bug that you are reloading three or four times before even shooting. It's getting me killed a lot. It's getting a lot of people killed. I uh, addressed in another video. Uh, the loot bug seems to be... Um, partly fixed i don't know if that's just luck or or what but um i had a game literally first game on where i, I picked up a, a weapon and i had no ammo and i couldn't shoot anyone and then there was the storm bug also which i'm just getting hit constantly and this game i had was terrible i had about three or four bugs in one game uh and and i came second but just purely because of that people were getting hit by the storm even though they were fully in the circle which is just insane and some of these bugs are really do should be fixed either on the day before release or as soon as they actually find out that it is the problem. I did tweet at uh, Blood Hunt and they had a response for me on, on the bug issue. So I basically went on to say why are the bugs taking so long. And they said some changes we can do through back end and those can be done fairly fast. But others need a client update and depending on what it is. We need to make sure to develop the test safely. We want to avoid going too fast and breaking other stuff. It's a difficult balance. And basically that what that means is they're really careful with um, changing things because of how it can cause other issues. Um, I don't know if you've played Battlefield or, uh, or been a part of a game with DICE or EA. 
but they are a company that rush fixing bugs and this is a major issue also because you can create so many more issues with a game and uh, especially if it's not taken carefully firestorm's a massive example of that one um uh, example would be uh, once they've uh, had, a, had a few bug issues on Firestorm can't remember what they changed but they changed a few things that um, weren't working as well and they basically created a whole massacre where they doubled uh, the connection somehow so they made uh, the servers laggier so if you were on an American server you were lagging like twice as much or even an EU server you were lagging twice as much as you normally would and then also with that you would have uh, a problem with uh, shield, putting shield on, and also the loot. The loot would stumble together, and they created all this ma mess from trying to fix one other simple thing. So uh, that's that's good from them that they're taking that into consideration. But also, I feel like something so simple as a reload bug, that should have been fixed on like day one. Or even when they tested it, surely they would have seen that. I don't know if it's a, if it's a, just a console thing. Let me know, uh, you PC guys, if it's happening to you. But this this is just game breaking. Like you, every a lot of most fights I'm going into with the AK or toggle arm, I'm end up reloading instead of shooting them, and it it drives me nuts. But uh, I will complain about a lot of stuff. But I'm a, I'm a passionate guy, so uh, there's that. Uh, anyway, I want you to uh, enjoy the gameplay. So uh, I'm not gonna speak anymore. So appreciate everybody listening. Thanks for. Um, for watching and uh, enjoy the rest of the video leave a like uh, leave a comment and i'll catch you guys later peace Broken my girl. Oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. Uh, 
39 bullets. Are you having a laugh? What? I literally flicked on an NPC to get the shit out of me. <laughs> Free kill game. Go up, what are you doing? Now why am I crouched? No way. Crossbows, yeah, GG's. What a fucking dumb decision. Shit like that, man. Why are you putting that in a game? point I won't get an extra life but I'll take it anyway and now they're all gonna camp I ain't got up much ammo it's no point in me fighting them He's got a gold toggler as well.
Yeah, GG's.